Hey guys, welcome back to uh, our Tech It series. This is Wear Games, and we're going to uh, talk about some Tech It stuff today. Um, what we discovered when we started looking at some of the, the videos on YouTube is that often people will, when they show you how they have set up something to do, say, solar panels or something like that, they just show you their setup. They don't actually show you how to do it. So our goal here today is to show you how to actually make things, uh, walk through it step by step. So what we thought we'd start with is uh, one of the ways early on in TechIt to start getting some energy going is to use the energy condenser and uh, to create kind of a loop that uh, creates things and then breaks them down and then creates them again. Uh, and then we use a, a uh, equivalency issue that that tech it has there's two different items that you can use uh, but we'll get into that a little bit later so the first thing we're going to talk about is how to create the uh, the EC generator okay so uh, as you can see uh, sorry the energy condenser I've got one here in my inventory so we're going to show you how to build one in a minute but basically this is this is the dealie okay so it looks like that and if you're not familiar with it, how it works is all of these squares here belong to the energy condenser. So whatever you put in this top square here is what it will create. So everything, most items, I shouldn't say everything, but most items in TechIt, as you can see as I hover over these, have an EMC value. So anything that has an EMC value can be created and can be broken down into energy so the amount of energy you get is basically what it is so each wood plank wooden plank is worth eight emc each glowstone block uh, obviously worth a lot more uh, 1536 there's some items that don't have one for instance uh, this mining laser you can't create a mining laser in an, uh, an energy condenser you have to build that these crop sticks you can't do that either uh, the iron ore block you can't create iron ore, sorry, an iron ingot, you can create. Um, so just as an example, let's go real easy here. So we're going to take one stone block and we're going to put it in the energy condenser. Now, if we put any other block that has an EMC value down here, it will start creating more stone. If we put a stone down here, it won't do anything to it because it's trying to create stone. It's not trying to destroy those. But here's the sand, for instance. So sand is worth one. So if I put one sand block in there, in any of these squares it will immediately turn it into one stone block because it was worth one EMC if I put two more in it will create two more so now we've got three stone blocks you can see now if I were to put one of these uh, glowstones in there you get quite a bit of stuff because of course it's worth a lot more so here let's try with the glowstone dust It's 384 so it's gonna create stacks of stone for us here because it's gonna use all that energy boom 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 there you, there you can see what it did now if we were to take this glowstone dust and put it there, you can see what it's doing is it's slowly using up the energy that's in there. And once it gets completely full, it's going to create one glowstone dust because it takes 348 units of energy. So as you can see, it's almost done that now. Um, sorry, 384. 348 is the number of the item, of course. So there you go. So if you want to clean out your EMC generator, you put something with a high value in there and it'll get rid of all your blocks. Sometimes it's a good way to get rid of a bunch of cobblestone and stuff that you don't need. Um, but there you go. We got our two glowstone blocks back. We, we've lost all the other stuff we had. But it's just it's a very quick and easy way to create things out of other things. Um, one interesting thing to note here is... Sorry, just checking through my inventory. So I've got a bunch of these on hand, but you can actually create an energy condenser from another energy condenser. You need 42,000 EMC units, but it can be done. So um, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, uh, what we're going to look at is uh, how to create the, uh, the energy condenser itself. So the way that we do that is first we have to create uh, an alchemical chest. And in order to do that, we're going to need three types of covalence dust. So any of these recipes you can look up on the, uh, I use the Tekkit Classic Wiki. Um, 
and it's great you just put in whatever you need and it gives you most of the recipes but so there's three types of conveyance desk there's the low uh, I think it's called the medium and the high uh, now here's the question is do we have all the stuff we need we may we may not let's find out okay so uh, so for the low it's all cobblestone except one in the bottom corner here and it's charcoal not coal so do I have charcoal probably not uh, okay so we're gonna have to go and create some charcoal so this you'll find this happen a lot that you have to run off grab something or create something and then come back uh, this is my crazy big factory here so I've got a lot of stuff set up here already but for the time being we're just gonna focus on getting this job done so we've got a bunch of furnaces here here's our iron furnace so we can put some now will this work or do we need actual wood no nope, we're gonna need actual wood so we're gonna go outside we're gonna chop some wood you'll do a lot of this in the early parts of Teget so we've got these lovely trees that are just sitting right here really we only need one but let's grab a few just to be safe and let's make sure we got the wood and there we go okay so we've got our wood blocks and we're going to Okay, so let's see here. We're just about done this part. So we've got our two charcoal. Now we can do this down here as well. Uh, here we go. So there you go. We've got 40 covalence dust that we've created. Now for the medium, we need uh, redstone, which I've got right there. Sorry, I'm just going to move some of that other stuff out of my inventory. And we need iron. So it's a little bit simpler for that recipe. One of those, one of those, and there you go. Uh, now for the high covalence dust, we need... Sorry, just give me a sec here, guys. The sound is being crazy loud for me, so I'm just going to turn it right down. Oh, that's not the sound, it's the music. There we go. We can have a little bit of sound. That's okay. Sorry, the music was really loud in my headphones and I couldn't hear what I was saying to you. So uh, so now what we need is we need one diamond. Now, do I have one diamond? I have lots of diamond around, but do I have one on hand? I need to look through all my stuff. Okay, okay, good. Luckily, we have one diamond right there. And we're actually going to need a few. So here's another... Uh, energy condenser and you can see it's loaded with all kinds of stuff right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a diamond in there because I'm gonna need a few of those to build the chest later or to build the energy condenser now here's an important thing if it's entirely full up it won't have any room to create something so if it's full like this it will do nothing until you move some stuff out so you can see there it created 15 instantly we just had so much energy sitting in this thing already so um, so let's do that and this time it's coal and not charcoal so there you go so we've got our three and I noticed in here there were some uh, chests which are actually gonna need uh, you're gonna find your inventory is crazy when you're playing tech there's so much stuff and you'll end up just throwing things on the floor just to get rid of them so uh, the recipe again you can check these out at the wiki later um, one diamond in the middle and then stone to either side and a couple pieces of iron and a chest so that creates us one alchemical chest which is a handy thing to have so that alchemical chest I'm just gonna move back up here but watch, we're going to need something from downstairs in a second here. We're going to need some obsidian. I know that already. But do we have some obsidian on hand? We probably do not. I thought we did. <laughs> okay, we got to make sure we got some obsidian. 
So obviously when the, you're doing this for the first time, you're going to spend a lot of time gathering all of these things because you're not going to have chests full of everything uh, waiting for you. Though it's kind of nice to have chests full of everything waiting for you. So, um, again, the alchemical chest can be created inside of an energy condenser. So once you have one, this is a general rule for Tekkit, once you have one, uh, you if you have enough energy or items to spare, you don't have to make a bunch, right? You've got, see, I've got, that takes 9,000, but I could put, like, you know, seven or eight glowstone blocks in there, and I can create a second one, like, just like that. Um, now, of course, getting to that point takes a little bit of effort, but that's kind of the goal here, and we're going to show you how to get there. So, uh, to make the uh, energy condenser, we put that guy in the middle, we put four diamonds around, and then we put our obsidian in the corners. And that creates an energy condenser. Alright, so congratulations, that's step one. That's the first thing that we needed. Um, so as we were saying before, uh, the a lot of this theory... Hang on, I'm just going to clear out some space here. So we can get some things done without having to reload our inventory every five seconds. Uh, sorry, the nice thing about the uh, alchemical chest as well, just on its own, is that... Uh, we made an extra one here so you can look. Is that it's also a chest, and it's a giant chest, so there's lots of room in it for stuff. So They're kind of handy, and they only take up one space, so they're, they're pretty handy to have until you're to the point where you're making diamond chests and things like that. So, the next thing we were going to show you was this cool theory here with the EMC values. So, so we have two items in Minecraft where the, the EMC values uh, for things that it takes to make something and what it breaks down into don't quite add up. And I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that. So, you can see here we've got bone and its EMC value is 144. Uh, the EMC value for bone meal, which bone is broken down into, is 48. Okay, so you can do the quick math on this. So if you have an EMC of 144 and this is one uh, only 48, so it's roughly 3. It's a little bit less than 3. It takes 3 bone meals to make one bone. Right, and we can check that out if we we could zero this out and here you go. Okay, so we're at zero right now. So if I put one bone in there, and I put, I'll put these in individually just to show you. Okay, so one became uh, 32 stores, 64 stored. I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, so it took three of them, you can see there. Okay, it took three of them to make one. Uh, and then we also have blaze rods and blaze powder. So blaze rod is 1,500, and the blaze powder is 768. So it takes roughly two of these, 768. So you see it takes exactly two of those. So two blaze, rod, two blaze powders to make a blaze rod, and three bone uh, meals to make a bone, right? So this is where it gets interesting, if you're still with me. Um, and I've got a machine set up over here already. We'll we'll show you how to make one of these shortly. This is a macerator, so you can use this to uh, bl basically blast things, break them down. It's uh, handy for breaking ore down into dusts. So you could take an iron ore block, and it creates two dusts, which you can then turn into two iron ingots, for instance. So it doubles your value. But the interesting thing here is if we take, remember we said it took three bone meal to make one bone. Now, if I take this bone and put it in a macerator, it created five bone meal. Okay. And then the same thing with the blaze rod. It took us two blaze powders to make one blaze rod. Now, if I put one blaze rod in here, how many does it break down into? It breaks down into five blaze powders. Okay. So you can, the, the quicker among you have already figured out what we're aiming for here. But basically, if we were to come over here and we were to take, so um, just to, uh, here, let's do this. Let's make this really simple. I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm 
over laboring the point if you already get where we're going then uh, feel free to tune out okay so I've got we're gonna start with uh, we're gonna start with two you need two blaze rods to get going okay so we need one in here we're gonna put one in here actually you know what let's drag this over we have actually got two more there so we'll just just gonna save some time rather than running back and forth we'll set this up over here okay so inside of here we're gonna put one and then we're gonna take the other one and we're gonna put it in here okay so it created five blaze powders now if we go back to our condenser and we put these five in you can see we've created two blaze rods okay so we had one now we have two if we take both of those and break them down now we have 10 blaze powders and if we put those in here now we've created we have actually got to five blaze rods so you can see where we're going with this eventually if we feed it enough and break down enough we will have tons and tons and tons of energy pretty much as much energy as we could ever need the same thing happens with the uh, the bone meal it's a little bit uh, slower but if in your game if you don't want to have to go into the the nether and try to find a blaze rod sometimes they're tricky to find you have to find the the uh, place where they hang out the little little castle dealies in the nether if you don't want to deal with all that then you could use bone meal to start and they're pretty easy to get off of skeletons at the beginning so there you go so now we've got an energy condenser uh, and then we've got uh, the next thing we're gonna need is as you just saw over here we had our our mesa raider now this mesa raider is loaded up with all kinds of overclocker and storage upgrades and that kind of thing but mesa raiders are not uh, super tricky to create to generate even if you don't have a ton of stuff um, so we can look at in the next short video we're going to look at how to build a mesa raider and then how to power a mesa raider and then once we have those two elements, we can start doing a manual uh, loop. <clears throat> and then after that, probably a third video, we'll show you how to automate that loop using either transport pipes or pneumatic pipes. Pneumatic pipes, of course, take a little bit more stuff to do. But uh, that will get you there faster. And so, yeah, this is the first of uh, three parts. Three parts, at least three parts. And hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to leave me any, any comments or likes or subscribe that would be lovely especially comments we really enjoy any sort of hints or tips or uh, likes or dislikes you might have uh, it's super handy for us so thank you very much for watching and we will see you again next time Bye bye